Alright, uh, first order business. I went 7-6 and six on picks this week. That's bad. I had a rough week. I picked the wrong upsets. Mm, it happens, but you gotta go with it. So, I'm still number 2 in the Pick'em League, so I got time to make up for it. A lot of the picks that I got wrong, I didn't have very many confidence points in, so I'm still going strong, and it's cool. Uh, second thing is, Walter Jones went on IR today, and we won't be seeing him for the rest of the year, and that's a tough blow, and I honestly think he should retire now. He's had a great long career for us, done some amazing things here, but it, it's time. He's 35, he's had three surgeries in a row, and apparently they didn't take because now he's on IR, so I, I think it's time for him to hang it up, and it, it, it'll be sad, but realistically you you want him to be able to walk one day and you want an effective left tackle and I don't know if he can be that anymore alright as for week seven uh, let's start off with the Packers Browns there there's nothing to say here what am I gonna say about this game other than the Packers wide receivers are awesome at yards after the catch I mean they I know Rodgers is really good. Rodgers is one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He's playing with bad offensive line, and he's still... Sorry, these goddamn advertisements on NFL.com. I hate that shit, but... Um, I know Rodgers is really good. He's playing great with a bad offensive line, but those receivers shoe up the yards after the catch. And the Browns, um, somebody else said this, but I'll repeat it. Their best offensive player is a return man, and they don't even know how to use him on offense. And when that's the case, you're in trouble. Niners, Texans. Th this was bad. I, I should have seen this coming. I I really should have uh, known that Houston was on a different level than San Francisco. I kind of went with this as an upset pick, but I think we have our final judgment. The Niners are good for the NFC West. They're not good, period. They're subpar against anybody else but they're good for the NFC West that's what it's looking like anyway so I mean with Arizona coming on strong the last few weeks they may not even be good for the NFC West they may uh, Arizona may get their revenge later this year so anyway 24-21 in favor of Houston obviously San Francisco had a nice comeback at the end but I got a lot of Alex Smith comments after the game but calm down guys he had a good game a good half against a bad defense that was playing prevent that was prepared to play Sean Hill I've seen this happen before starter goes out and then the backup comes in and the defense who was game planning to play the starter doesn't account for the backup very well it happens okay if he has a few more good games I'll give him credit and he does deserve credit for the way he played against Houston but I got a lot of pro Alex Smith comments after uh, what happened yesterday, I mean, on um, Sunday, and put it back in your pants, guys. Put it back in your pants. <coughs> Other than that, uh, Houston looked real good. Again, I'm going to I'm gonna give them a little bit of leeway with the Alex Smith thing because they were game planning for Sean Hill, and you never know how that can affect things, and they came out with a win. I mean, Shaw, he's looking real good. He, he's emerging into at least a legit fantasy quarterback. Uh, Chargers, Chiefs, god damn it. I, 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 I um, forgot how bad the Chiefs are. I, I'm sorry about that. I know I went with the Chiefs as one of my upset picks. I was thinking, you know, North Turner's involved. The game is an arrowhead, but the Chiefs are just too bad. Uh, I, f I forgot how good Phillip Rivers can be. I, I did. That's my bad. But 37-7... San Diego must win absolutely I think they're already done but this was a must win game and and they got it but they still kind of had a little bit of an issue running the ball and really they've had that all year and you wonder if that's ever going to get better because their offensive line has all the issues that they do and <coughs> the Larry Johnson thing with the on the Kansas City side of things the Larry Johnson thing is it's just too much I was waiting for something like this to happen in the NFL because it seems like it doesn't happen that often. Now that it's happened, I don't even know what to do. It, it's bizarre. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Colts, Rams, 42-6. to What are you going to say? 
it, it's a shame Peyton didn't get to 300 passing yards because he had that streak going, but uh, at the end of the day, they won big. They won by five touchdowns, so you can't knock that. A lot of the, through a lot of the game, actually, the Colts had bad field position, or they probably would have scored more, and Peyton probably would have thrown more passes. But through a lot of that game, they were backed up at their goal line, and that's really the only good thing you can say about the Rams. They have a good punter. And Adai, still not running very well, still getting the yards that the Indy Colts need, but it seems like Donald Brown might be doing better than him right now, and not much else you can say about that. They just did what they needed to do. And speaking of what you needed to do, the Patriots and the Buccaneers, I actually got this game on my TV, but I didn't watch any of it because there were better games on, and... I don't know. <coughs> uh, Raheem Morris, the uh, new coach of the Bucks. you don't know what you're doing. You have no idea what you're doing. Oh my god. Okay, so basically I heard this morning that Josh Freeman is getting the start on Sunday against whoever the hell they're playing next. And Everything I've gotten from this season so far, the preseason and the season so far, is that Josh Freeman is not ready to start in the NFL. And that is further confirmed by the fact that when Byron left, which got benched, they brought in Josh Johnson. And now Josh Johnson is sucking like everybody knew he was gonna, so now they're bringing in Josh Freeman. But Josh Freeman still isn't ready for the NFL, and if he's not ready for the NFL, you're wasting your time. And you're hurting his future career prospects, so... Raheem Morris, I know you're only seven weeks into the job, but you have no idea what the hell you're doing. Oh my, he, he's bad. And as for this game in sp particular, the only thing that surprised me was that Brady threw two picks. That's, that's kind of unexpected against a terrible defense like that, but uh, Patriots pretty much ran all over them, did just about everything they needed to do. 35-7, what are you going to say about that? But Raheem Morris, uh, pack your bags. You're almost out of there. Uh, Steelers, 27, Vikings, 17. I watched this game. I watched the whole game. Great game. And, you know, Minnesota falls out of the ranks of the undefeated. And I, I personally don't see how this loss helps them. I've heard a few people say that. Um, it was a very winnable game. I don't think Pittsburgh played that well. I will give you that Pittsburgh did get to... Um, unusual touchdowns with the two defensive scores, but Roethlisberger played poorly. I watched that whole game, and he played like crap. Um, not completing a lot of passes, um, not making any big plays other than the one to Wallace. That was a, the touchdown, I think it was, and I think there was one to Holmes, but the one to Holmes didn't matter because on the next play, Mendenhall fumbled, and he threw three, four, maybe five balls that really should have been picked off. He threw two of them on that touchdown drive right before the end of the first half, but Minnesota dropped them, and if they pick off some of those passes, they probably won this game without much issue, but they really left that on the left that out there. Uh, Brad Childress, you still suck. I, I hate bad challenges. I really, really hate bad challenges, and that one he did on the Mike Wallace catch early in the game was retarded. There's nothing I hate in the from head coaches, I think one of the worst things you can do is have bad challenging. It's just a waste of time and timeouts. But, really, Minnesota played pretty well. They had many chances to win. Uh, the two defensive touchdowns, kind of a fluke. But, hey, I mean, that's what you get when you pull Chester Taylor out of the game in crunch time. I mean, when you pull Adrian Peterson out of the game in crunch time for Chester Taylor, right? Uh, somebody explained that one to me. But it was a great game, and Minnesota got the two defense. I mean, Minnesota played tough. I I didn't wasn't a fan of the play calling. They got first and goal at the one yard line and uh, passed twice, which makes absolutely no sense when you have Adrian Peterson. Uh, Pittsburgh had the fumble inside the five yard line because Mendenhall thought the five yard line was apparently the goal line. So there were missed opportunities all around. But I thought Minnesota really um, hurt themselves with the. Um, prevent right before the first half and dropping all those picks and uh, I know there were some bad calls in there I saw them too and I kind of thought hey that that's that's not all right but um, that it's it's what's gonna happen and you know that uh pick six kind of ruined me because I had Minnesota plus four 
and that pissed me off right there, but it ended up not mattering for reasons I'll get to in a second. Uh, Buffalo, Carolina, you know, I really didn't think that Jake DeLome single-handedly lost them some games this year, like the Arizona game in the playoffs and the Eagles game, and a lot of people were calling out Jake for single-handedly losing those games. I didn't really think that, but he single-handedly lost this game along with, I guess, the offensive play calling, which became an extension of him. Um, I, I don't know what to go with this one. I mean, Jake did throw for well over 300 yards, so that's always nice, but holy crap, he could not have done more to lose this game, and to see him throw 44 times is absolutely ridiculous, and I think he dropped back for passes like 46 times, so I don't know what's going on there. Buffalo really played like crap and still managed to win. I guess they did do some things on defense, but uh, Carolina. 